Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to today's Platform Tip of the Week. Today we are going to be discussing how to set up a particular chart. Uh, life is all about confirmations, right? You get confirmations on your cell phone every time the weather changes, you purchase something, and we all like confirmations on our charts. So one thing that is extremely cool uh, to set up on these charts is something that's called a baseline chart. And basically, it's a graph that's going to change a different color once a certain specified level is reached. Now, uh, the open in the market today um, is right around uh, 3010. And you can confirm that um, by, on my right-hand chart, my five-minute that I like to make my trading decisions off of, you can see that purple line is 3010. looks like 3010 half was the um, uh, Pierce Day Open. So I'm going to go ahead and change my confirmation chart, which is the one on the left-hand side. And you can tell I have two, two different chart types, uh, both the S&P December 2019, right-hand side, five-minute on the left-hand side, 30-minute with uh, NYSE uh, tick indicator on the bottom. So I'm just going to select these candlesticks and select baseline and you can see this chart just changed and this limit right here this level I should say at uh, 32 or 3275 I have the ability to click and drag and change this current limit or level so I can move it to a particular price and as I mentioned I like seeing it at 10 half now you can see it's extremely easy and intuitive to see as the market is breaking either above that level or below that level and what I can do on my right hand chart is the main chart that I like to make decision making off of I can very easily see on the left hand side if it's breaking through above or below uh, this level. And just, you know, as most chartists or traders like, uh, they like simplicity and the ability to view things uh, quickly, as I can do. All right, so that's my tip of the week. Uh, if you want me to do any other particular videos, please contact me directly. You can email me at mz at infinityfutures.com. Thank you.